Cylinder. Hey, I remember my graduation. No, I don't. Ring stand. We spoke. Acids. Uh. Buff. And um. Uh. <laughs> Caustic soda. Undigator. Those are all of the ingredients. Wait. Aren't those called materials? No. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare yourselves for the viewing experience of a lifetime. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Hello. Welcome to Procedure Feud. I'm your host, <laughs> Time to begin. <laughs> Press play. Welcome to Procedure Feud. The first show that incorporates family feud, procedures, science, friendship, and miming. Rule number one, no smoking. Rule number two, you will be forced to reenact the miming event in which I describe in a way that relates to a procedure on titration. Rule number three, no running, jumping, or climbing. Keep all arms and legs inside the ride at all times. And most importantly, have fun. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> so what's your name? My name is Tyler. Sorry, our, our first contestant here. What? My name is Tyler Wilhelm. I am 15 years okay, old. That's way too much information. Okay, so, so far we have Tylus Hangus, all the way down here from Florida. Uh, press play. Um, I actually... No. No, um, we have cont uh, cont contestant number two. Uh, what, what's your name? See, it's a real stoic right here. I'm just going to call you Hulk Grogan. Press play. What might your name be, little boy? Navis. Navis? Navis. 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 All right, we have Nevis Borg. I hear he was a co-star of the hit series Dumpers. I sure was. Need us. Nave us. Stig us. Hey, Doug, what's in store for me today? Well, I do the talking. Okay. So, um, number one, safety first. Yeah. yeah. It looks as if you are, you're putting on an apron. And goggles as well. Now you're putting on the gloves. See, so he's safe. 
It's a pleasure to be on the show, Doug. Thanks for having me. Again, this is my show. I will be the one asking the questions and creating the dialogue. Whatever so now, you oh, Yes. Okay, so I'd like for you to act as if you were getting your stuff together, man. Uh, okay, will do, sir. Nope. Let's begin. Okay, right there. It looks like a ring stand. Thank you. Yeah. It's a very good one. Mm-hmm. Clamp. That's right. You have a bure. Mm-hmm. And you have one more. Um, like wrong one. And there you go. I think you've got it, buddy. The Beekster. Thank you very much again. Thanks for having me. It's no. We're back with our with my personal favorite uh, contestant here, Nevis Borg, and um, Nevis. Yes, and I will be uh, first. I would like you to demonstrate. Careful with that acid. Go. Press play. Um, you can fiddle with your glasses. <laughs> A different time. Okay. You gotta love this guy, Nevis. Okay, so what it looks like he's doing is that he's obtaining. 20 milliliters of acids A, B, or C. They're a mystery. We don't know. And then he's putting them, measuring them in a graduated cylinder, and then putting it after, after having measured it, into an Earl Meyer flask. And then he is adding in just two drops. That's all it takes. Two drops of indicator. And he's donezo. Press play. All right, buddy. Come on. This one's basic. <laughs> Perfect. He, he begins by obtaining 50 milliliters of caustic soda. For those of you at home that don't know what that is, that is NaOH, and it will be our base for the experiment. And now it looks as if he is using a funnel to guide it into a graduated cylinder to make that measurement. Very well done, buddy. Nice job. Again, Doug, thanks for having me on the show. It means a lot to me and my family on a personal level, and I just couldn't thank you enough for your gratitude. I'm going to stop you right there, because I don't know you, I don't know your family, I don't care about your family, and I don't see what that has to do with the game show. And I've already told you, I'm the one who does the talking on the show, seeing as I am the host and you are the contestant. Fair and enough. this is, a, for the, those viewers out there who have not witnessed this, this is a prime example of a contestant who will not be winning. All right, so here it's a bit of a tricky one. This one's called... It's alive. Now, he probably can't do it, but we'll give Mr. Hengist here a shot. Go for it. Okay, well, it's been very poorly reenacted here, but what he, I think he's trying to do is add the NaOH uh, caustic soda into the buree using a funnel, and, um, and he's going to, after that already fills, he's going to move down, aren't you? And then... He's going to be testing the stopcock to make sure that there are no... He's going to be testing the stopcock to make sure that there are no air bubbles inside of the bure. I, I didn't say there should be sound effects. This is a mime show, once again. It's called Procedure Feud Mime Edition. And then he is going to use a flask that he will insert underneath it to test or just to catch the drippings. Press play. All right, so now um, we're back with a good contestant this time for once. Um, and he's going to be demonstrating for us a little thing I like to call eyes on the prize. Press play. I like that. Okay, so what he's doing is he's measuring the exact amount of NaOH that is in that bure. It's very studious, very young. It's nice. Caustic soda. All right, we're back here, my good buddy Nevis, and um, this one's a little bit tricky. I'll, I'll give him that, but it's called "Now We're Cooking with Gas." <laughs> what he's doing right now is brilliant. This is probably the best reenactment I've ever seen on this show, or this period, it's possible. But what he's doing is he is adding. Um, He's putting the acid into an Erlenmeyer flask, Erlenmeyer, he, uh, yes, and uh, under the bure uh, and over with a white piece of paper. So what he's doing is he's just taking this flask and he's putting a white piece of paper under it on top of the base of the ring stand 
and that is simply for your viewing pleasure. Press play. Here, complete failure on this show. Who is not? He's not going to win anything. And now he's trying to patronize me, trying to gain us sympathy, and it's not going to work, buddy. I will tell you that now. My um, uh, words, uh, action, nice. Okay, so I'll begin with a simple task for you. This one's called Professor Snape. I've done it. Begin. Okay, so we'll first start. No, I was si silent. Okay. Okay, well, this is actually, this is, this is better than before, but still subpar. But what he is trying to do, I think, is he is loosening the stopcock in order to allow for the flow of NaOH into the acid until it turns a slight pink. See? Yeah. 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 He's done it. Press play. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay, so here's um, again a silent contestant, but he will. Um, this one's called. Here's here is where it counts. Begin. Press play. So what he is doing is he is. He is um, taking down, taking notes on the amount of NaOH, the base here, that is being used or that, or that was used in this process in order to achieve that light pink. Caustic soda! This is my third contestant, and uh, my personal favorite. His name is Nevis Borg. Uh, as you know, he's a world-famous rapster, and his album, Sleeping with the Fishes, will drop next winter. Please make sure you listen to that. I love his track, um, inspired by the dumpers, called uh, Peebus. Right, now, this one's a fun one, actually. Mm. I think you'll enjoy this one very much. It's called Caution Toxic Waste. And I'll, I'll pay attention to myself for this one. Press play. So now we're entering the cone zone as he is putting the chemicals into a waste bin. We just want to flush out all those toxins, make sure they don't make it back into our water supply. Press play. You know what, Mr. Manhole? I am sick and tired of you bullying me around and pushing yeah, well, me around. That's I have to stop you here. Because this is, this is my show. I am the host. You know what you got into when you signed the contract to be on the show in the first place. And um, you know what, buddy? I am Mr. Hollywood. I live right here, uh, uh, right here in the great city of L.A. And I make, you know how much I make, buddy? I make $10,000 a year. You know what? You know how much this show is costing me right now? Over $40. <laughs> so again, an especially uh, inadequate contestant here, uh, ready to act out yet another um, you know, rinse and repeat. Begin. He looks flustered. Um, I'm not quite sure. Okay, well, okay, uh, let's see. I have to baby him through this one. So you do the exact same procedure for the remaining acids, which is B and C, or any combination depending on with which one you begin. So this guy can't act that out. Well, can you at least just make an X with your fingers and then put up two? Times. So yeah, two. It's a minimalist effort, and I do not approve of it. Press play. So, again, look at this silence, it's beautiful. So what this is, is time for the pencil scratch. Again, scratch those pencils. Okay, so what he's doing is he is recording down all the results in a way in which he is able to tell what he shall do next, which is to calculate the amount of molarity for the acids, knowing that NaOH caustic soda has a 0.5 molarity concentration. Very well done. See, this is a winner up here. Press play. <coughs> Refreshing. Okay, we're back here with um, with Borg, Mr. Borg here, and um, this is a this is a fun one, I have to say. It takes me back to my kindergarten years, um, and uh, probably back to your dumper years. Yeah, this one's called Clean Up Bingo Bango Bongo. Begin. Press play. 
So what he's doing here is he is cleaning up, he's cleaning house. So he's putting away all the materials that were used for the convenience of further researchers and anyone who wishes to do the same. It just makes it easier for the world in general and it is just a necessary convenience that we all must follow. Press play. Play. Hi, how do you do? <laughs> Shake your hand. No, too cool for school. <laughs> And uh, once again, we are back with. Uh, sorry. I can't even say it. Okay, here we go. Is that thing that holds? <laughs> Oh, yes.